We had some unexpected visitors on Isla Nicta last night. My personal aisle server on Dev Branch. If you're not playing there, well, you are not playing the aisle correct. And, well, start playing it correctly. On my server, we had a Neurospino appear. Now, this Neurospino continued to hunt players and deal with some rather large aloe packs. On top of that, it did guard a lake for a while, but unfortunately, it was pushed out by a Hypospino, which was also present on the server guarding a giant lake. There was also a Hyporex that had appeared that was prowling the forest and scaring players. Now, the bonus to all of this is that Mega Packs now have something to fear. If you play on my Semi-Realism server, you will never be safe. You have to realize that. I've given the developers full reign to do whatever the hell they want, free of public consequence and stuff like that. So if they want to go as a Neuro or anything else, well, they can do that. They are more than welcome to, pending Gandhi's permission, obviously. Now, there was also a rumor last night that a Tissot creature was spotted I have no actual proof of this. I haven't seen anything about it, unfortunately, but uh, I guess I can't really discredit it either. Now, the good news is aloe packs will be handled. And, well, I guess there'll be a snack for our neural friends as well, as this guy was caught guarding the lake and attacking an aloe pack that ran in fear. This Neurospino also released an EMP-styled attack that changed the weather on command. The weather turned horrible very, very fast, and it was a bad time. So if you see this guy prowling the server, you need to stay away from it, and you definitely don't want to confront it. It will probably kill you. However, it was scared away by a Hypospino, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Now, I did take some time and I got some close-ups of this thing and some clips of it swimming just because we haven't really seen a Neurospino in the game that much. It's one of those very secretive, exclusive creatures that we don't get to see. We haven't even gotten to play as it yet. It's not entirely done, part of it, but it's also a very, very exclusive creature to the developers right now, at least. I'm not sure of any players that have actually gotten to play this guy. Now, I will note it has bioluminescent lighting, it appears, which at night could cause an issue. I just want to make note now that I did alter this footage you're looking at right now for nighttime, and I made it significantly brighter by popular demand in the comments section. So hopefully you guys that have trouble seeing things at night, well, now you can see this perfectly fine. I really, really hope. Anyways, Neurospina was fun and all, but we're going to move into a Hyporex next. If you do see these strains, please run. You are not safe on Isla Nicta. You will never be safe. And that is the goal. Also, I'm glad some people got to see a Neurospinal last night because a lot of people still haven't been able to meet one in game. Unfortunately, when you do meet one in game, it usually spells death for you. This guy, however, does not always spell death because you can hear him coming from a mile away. So you don't really have to worry about it too much, but another problem that comes into this guy is his absolute size and the fact that the Hyporex being spotted on the server too, major problems for the general player base because Hypos are out to kill you. They are there to kill you no matter if there's a mega pack or if they're just hanging out and, hey, I see a small thing, time to kill it. That's what they're designed to do. They're designed to kill you. Now, we did get a chance to see its scent being used. We've seen this in the past, but I've never actually gotten to see it used on, a, used on a server. And, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I think this one is completely custom. I know it sniffed out some prey over there, chased it down, bit it, killed it, and it later ate the body. Also, the broadcast. Now, I want to note something real quick. I did see that the... This hypo, at least... What I think it does, it has the, the Rex's idle animations. You know how they were recently added? I think this guy is using those right now, and it has some updated things as well about it. And obviously you can see water cascading down its body as well. I'll let you watch some of this footage. I did capture some of its idols and stuff like that. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Let me know if you ran across this bad boy last night on the server, if you were playing. Because, well, it, it was cool, right? Yeah, we have hypo creatures lurking on the server. They're not there all the time, by the way. They're only there, you know, part of the time. They're not always going to be there. You don't always have to be worried. Just 
fair heads up to everyone playing. You probably will see some strains, and you may even see a Tisso if that was true. Go down through your recordings if you were playing last night. Let me know if you saw the Tisso. You can actually clearly see some of the idol stuff here. I'm not sure if it's the Rex's or not. I don't actually think this is the Rex's idol animation. This might be custom too. I hope this guy didn't sniff you out in the forest. If you did die from a Hyporex, let me know in the comments section down below. It wandered into the woods after this, never to be seen again. However, at night, near the river, there was a Hypospino spotted, swimming in the pond. It was hard to notice at first because, well, its spine is almost entirely submerged. But for those that did see it, they knew to run the opposite direction. As a hypo, again, it is designed to just kill you, hell, even for fun, and then eat your body, even if it doesn't need food, which a hypo always needs food, so it's contradicting itself. So anyways, not even a big deal. A hypo spina was spotted, and it was in the lake swimming around. It did come out to confront some people, and it also came out to scare a baby Giga. But for whatever reason, it didn't attack this baby Giga. It kind of just did its own thing and started swimming around again. It did walk around on all fours, and it did seem to patrol the lake for a while. However, then it too wandered into the woods at the end. And I guess it was just not seen anymore that night. This is the same Hypospino that scared the Neurospino away. Now we know the Neurospino is blind, it doesn't have eyes, but I'm pretty sure anyone and their mom would know to run the opposite direction of the thunderous stomps that are heard when this thing approaches. You guys can enjoy the footage of the Hypospino I'm gonna go do some stuff, and then I will see you in-game in a moment.
That's pretty much it for all the cool things that happened on the server last night, but now we're going to touch base with the Nicta Tyrannus and its current development process because it's, it's, oh boy, you, you guys are going to like this. Just to be clear with you guys, this server is on Dev Branch. You have to set your game to Dev Branch, which, well, you can follow the instructions here, and, well, I'm sure you can figure out the rest. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to follow. So anyways, once you've managed to join Isla Nicta Semi-Realism, you're going to want to join the Discord server, which I will leave a link for in the description and comment section of this video. The link will be valid for 24 hours. So eh, join it while you can, otherwise you got to wait for the next video because then I'll refresh it, yada, yada, yada. So basically, the deal with this server is it is a server exclusively made for the Nicta Tyrannus and so I can facilitate a community here on the Isle and not, I guess, be restricted in what I can do or what I can do, basically. Um, the Nicta Tyrannus will be exclusive to this server, more or less, and you guys know all about the Nicta. It's basically done, we just need the dev kit to update and then we can have it thrown into the game and we can play as it, you know, all of that stuff. Now, there are some, I guess, exclusive perks to becoming a Nicta on my server, and those are through our Patreon. You can go over to our Patreon, and if you want to play as the Nicta early, say, play it with me while I record it for the first time, because this thing will be out, like, two weeks, and then I'm going to record my videos, you know, check it out, show all the people the stuff, and then, you know, after that week or two, I'm thinking more of a week, uh, it'll be available to the general player base, but it will be through raffles and we'll select people to play as the Nicta because, well, you can't have it so everyone can spawn in as a Nicta. Now, once that's done, I mean, you basically are a Nicta and you, I guess, survive until you die more or less, which it can die. It's not going to be crazy overpowered or anything. It's going to be powerful. You know, a Rex would be scared of it. But it's not going to be, like, impossible to kill. You know, two Rexes would probably give it a run for its money, for instance. Now, if you do want to play this thing early, you can go over to the Patreon, and you're allowed to donate to the server if you want to. It's not required. You don't need to donate to be able to play as this thing. I want to make that clear to you guys. Uh, anyone has the chance to play as it. It's just if you donate on the Patreon, you're guaranteed to play it a week early. If you're a super fan of this thing or anything, or you really want to try it out and be that super cool exclusive thing, and you have some disposable income, well, you can donate to the server uh, through one of the tiers and get that, I guess, creature a week early. But you're not actually, like... You're not getting the creature as the Patreon. You're, you're getting the permission to use the modification early type of thing, and you support the server, and, well, you help pay our server bills and stuff like that, obviously, because server bills aren't cheap, especially when we bring up the other servers. So what I'm going to do is I hear Parasaurs down here. I want to hunt them. So that's just what I'm going to do. By the way, there's there's Discord roles and stuff, too, for you guys if you want to donate it. You can donate. You don't have to donate for the Nicta. Like, you can do it to support the server and stuff like that, but it's not required at all. Like, you will never be required to donate or anything like that to play on the server. It's never going to be like that. So you're perfectly fine the way you are right now if you haven't become a Patreon, but it would definitely be appreciated. Oh, wait. Hang on. I don't know if he just saw me or not. I need food really bad. I get really good FPS here. Wow. Oh, yeah. I think they're running. I think they might have saw me. I might have just blown it. I can follow them, though. Not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, they got footprints everywhere. They're going to be easy to track. Oh, they're going to be so easy to track. They all scooped around this direction down here, I think. Oh, boy. All right, desperation is setting in. I think those parasaurs ran off somewhere. I couldn't actually track them down after, I guess, the point where I had left them. I do know there's a bunch of things up here. And I should be able to catch something off guard. I'm in desperation mode. I need, I need to feed at this point. All right, I'm gonna stalk through these bushes. And let's see if I can catch something off guard. There's a trike there. I don't want to attack a trike though. That doesn't fit my profile. I need two apexes. It's so difficult to see. I know there's another Giga here, too. Wait, what is that? Okay, that's the trike. Got it! Yes! I got a meal! Alright, let's see. Can I eat this? Is it gonna let me? Did he roll too much? No, we got it! We got a couple bites! Yes, please! Thank you for those bites! I'd eat that other guy, too. Oh, there's aloes up right there. I need food. Desperately. We're gonna go for these aloes. I'm gonna try and single one out, because I don't want to bite and hit all of them at the same time. 
Let's just see if we can get closer to them. Yeah, they're just right there. I'm hitting pretty well. That's a lot of aloes. I think those are... Yeah, that's too many aloes, I think, actually. Then again, so I don't think some of them are grown, too. There's a lot of aloes. I think there's only five per group allowed, actually. How many are over there right now? Yeah, that aloe pack is definitely too big. I'm going to have to run up and, uh, and get one of these guys. See, I don't want to tango with that many aloes, though. That's a lot of them. They might team up and try and kill me. That'd be a bad time. I'm going to try and attack the one closest. If I bite, I don't want to hit multiple aloes, but it might have to be a necessary evil. There's a lone one right there broadcasting right now. Oh, oh, he's getting close. I don't think he sees me. The Giga right there just scared them off. He's still broadcasting. There's something sitting down there. Oh, one's coming in the tree line. Right there. Let's see. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go for it. Oh, oh. I think I bit him. Did I bite him? Got him. Yes. He was bit a couple times. He's just running around in circles. All right, I got one of them. That's going to be a decent meal. Keep looking around. You got a Giga coming over here? Are you male or female? These aloes better start moving. Come on, start moving. Start moving. You guys better disperse. <laughs> oh, they all ran away. Wait, what is that right there running up? Uh, that's a Maya. What are you running towards me for? Does this guy not realize I'm here? Use your eyes. I'm right here. Go the other direction. There you go, little guy. I'm going to act like I'm walking into the woods. Is this, does this guy not realize I'm here? Oh, I got another meal, I think. Oh, I got another one. Oh, he bit me. Oh, and he, he rolled. What the hell? Damn, I can't eat that one. Try and come at me? What are they doing? I'm surprised that one aloe hit me. Yeah, guts. I don't think I can eat this though. The body like rolled. I have to relog. So I can eat that. Alright, I'll relog, but guys, that is it for now on the aisle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below on seeing those neuro and hypo creatures. If you did see us if you did see a Tisso, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm running out of like no sleep, so I'm stuttering a little bit, but. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Join the server. I want to see you there. Check out the Patreon if you want to go the extra mile. Not necessary. You don't need to, but it's very much appreciated by myself and the server staff. And I will see you in the next video. Oh.